15. Remember, I was doing all the sandblasting and all that, so this is kind of odd. We already did all the sandblasting scene, and remember I said we were going to go right to the table. Well, looking for a few good hats, so we have one special hat for Joe Pendergast, which we're going to use later on when we're assembling this thing. So I'm out of hats. Remember, for those of you who haven't seen the first one, send me your hat, give me two lines of bull crap about it, and I'll wear your hat while I'm doing this thing. That's why I wear all those goofy hats. Anyway, 15 is off. You can see we've got something a little more current, this Kramer K8 Spider, which was on the front row at Le Mans 94 with Derek Bell. It's sitting in here, just got serviced. And then we've got the 17 on the table. You can see we've got it jigged in, bolted down. If you look close enough, you can see, remember this one fender, this left front fender was hit, and you can see that the chassis from this point forward is a little higher on this side. You can see the tape marks cracks. Oops, I just stepped on some pipes. The tape marks cracks where it evidently didn't get fixed. But that's why it's on the table now, bolted down. It's actually pretty, pretty straight. Uh, you can see it's all metal finish. The, the real fine media cleaned the aluminum real well. And now we just go ahead and uh, look for cracks and see if it's straight going into the jig and whatnot. Here's the gauge, which has been cleaned up now. Now, we can only get about five pounds of air pressure because there's so many holes drilled in it. If you look down inside here with the camera, you can see tape. These are two holes that they held the floorboard in with. They just put a couple screws in it. Well, that's fine and dandy, except those holes are part of the chassis to pressurize it. Most of the time, a 917 floorboard was held in with, with tie wraps. Again, look around. You can see tape marks where there's holes or cracks in the chassis. That will all take place as we repair this and go on further. You can see we have the doors mounted on the car. I'll come around this way. The doors pick up index so we can get the tail mounted on. The tail is, is now being refit. If you bring the camera around here, you can see where we've jigged up to get the luggage boxes in. You can see these are all the new tubes here. And then this side, move Brett's helmet, his welding cap, where they've all been cut out. Remember I keep telling you that all these pipes were all wrong. Where they all met was incorrect. Now they're correct. And it's easiest to do this while it's on the table. So one side is tacked up, the other side will get tacked up next week. Uh, chassis should be about wrapped up next week. We'll go into more detail, you know, as we do that. But anyway, as uh, we sign off here for 15, remember, give us some hats, send them away, and we're on schedule with this car and the other cars we're working on, too. Anyway, for 15, peace.
detail, remember this roof section isn't going to come off the car. So I got to do it on the car. So all the little detail grinding to make this so I can reskin it. Because I do have to put some new material down. Remember in the beginning of the video yesterday of 14, we showed you the different types of materials. It'd be that real fine material. It's a little tough to see it, but now I'm just going to... And I'm done, then I'll cry him out. And, uh, we'll get this thing on the table. There it is. So, well, next uh, show will be uh, taking it into the fab shop. See you then.